this is going to be a slam dunk snap easy diagnosis so I'll try to make it a quick slam dunk snap easy presentation here's a lung as you could see here are lymph nodes uh, in the lung near the hilum notice that in many lymph nodes, if not most lymph nodes of the lung, even in normal healthy people, you'll see this little stippling of anthracotic pigmentation all throughout the lymph node. So if you get a well-defined focus, which is totally void of normal anthracotic pulmonary lymph node stippling, you'll think that there's something in there that shouldn't be in there. See, here's the lymph node, here's the nodule, here's the lymph node, most of it is replaced by two or three big nodules. Here's another lymph node. Here's a nodule. Perhaps these are smaller nodules. This blacker area could very well be normal lymph node. You got to suspect when you see a, a part of a lymph node that's totally different in uh, texture, color from the rest of the lymph node, whether the lymph node's enlarged or not, and these are enlarged, that it's metastatic carcinoma. Furthermore, uh, the microscope makes this very easy because even from the very uh, most low power view, when you look at a lymph node like this, you could see it doesn't at all look normal. Perhaps out at the periphery, you could see some kind of lymphoid tissue, but you can see this is mostly fibrous tissue. And even from this power, you could see glands, epithelium, and especially glands, should not be in any normal lymph node. Whenever you see clusters of epithelium and or glands, which are part of epithelium in a lymph node, you can uh, be sure it's some type of metastatic uh, carcinoma. In here, you could see that the glands are quite uh, well formed. Uh, it doesn't almost matter at this point whether we uh, zip in and look closer to look at the cytology of the cells because even if they looked totally normal, which of course they don't, glands inside of a lymph node mean metastatic disease. And plus these are kind of nasty nuclei as well. They're uh, oriented a little bit with the nucleus towards the base, but they're big and dark and yucky enough with a nice, a nice number of mitoses like here and here, where even if you uh, did not know this was in a lymph node, you'd probably call it cancer, I hope. Uh, let's go back again and see, uh, also in this lymph node, there's a decent amount of uh, uh, lymphoid infiltrates surrounding some of these uh, lymph nodes, but uh, I'm sorry, tumor nests. But for the most part, the tumor is co uh, lymph node is completely replaced by tumor, isn't it? There are some uh, residual follicles left. There's a lot of fibrosis along here and here and here. But I think maybe oh, here's a lymphoid follicle here. Whether that's a reaction to the tumor or whether it's a remaining follicle, it probably doesn't matter. And probably out at the periphery here, there may be a follicle or two. But uh, for the most part, this lymph node is virtually 100% replaced by metastatic adenocarcinoma. I thank you very much.